Hey, what's up everybody? Sonuts here, and in this video we're going to be talking about some future GTA 5 story DLC that may or may not come. Because as you know, GTA 5 turns two years old September of this year. It was initially released on the 360 and PS3 September 2013, came out to the PS4 and X-Bone November 2014, and came out to the PC April of this year. And in all that time, they've released a shit ton of GTA Online DLC, but we haven't heard any information about story DLC, and it's kind of fucked up. Because back in April of 2008, GTA 5, I mean GTA 4 was released. Less than a year later, in February of 2009, it got its first story DLC, which was The Lost and the Damned. And that same year, it got some more story DLC by the name of The Ballad of Gay Tony. What the fuck, Rockstar? It seems like their main focus right now is on GTA Online because they're able to make more money off of it with the stupid shark cards that give online money to their players. Even though there's a bunch of hack tars that are hacking in billions of dollars, but they've been banning a lot of those assholes, so I think they're still making some decent bucks off of some, you know, legit GTA Online players. But still, I, if that's their main focus because they're making money off of it, for shame on you, Rockstar. You're not supposed to be about money, man. You know how much fucking money y'all have already made off of the PC version, the X-Bone version, PS4 version, the PS3 version, and the Xbox 360 version? A lot of fucking money, man. People that bought the 360 versions ended up probably buying the X-Bone versions, and if they had a gaming PC when it came to the PC, they probably bought that. So you probably made, like, triple from thousands upon thousands of gamers there's no way you motherfuckers are hurting for money so you can't just stick to GTA Online just because you're making money off of it you know GTA Online sucks anyway I'm only like a level 22 in GTA Online I just don't care for it it's too restrictive and honestly everybody who plays on there is immature as fuck like, as soon as I spawn in, I'm getting blowed up with a fucking rocket launcher. I'll spawn in again, I'm getting sniped. I'll spawn in again, I'm getting ran over. You know, it's fun after a little bit, but then you're like, fuck. This is just, this is it? This is the fucking GTA Online experience, just spawning in and getting murdered constantly? I just don't go for it. I'd rather have a GTA Online experience that was more like Daisy. I don't know if you guys have played Daisy, but it's a fantastic multiplayer experience. It's, it's probably one of the best multiplayer experiences you can get in any game if you just if you're in for something a little bit more slow paced in an open world and not into that fast paced Call of Duty shit. But anyways, we're not here to talk about all that garbage. We can talk about that in another video. We're here to talk about you know what could come for the story DLC. Now, I have a few ideas swimming around in my head. First one is, I'm pretty positive we're not going to be playing as Michael, Trevor, and Franklin in the story DLC. And the reason for that is, they've already pulled off the heist of a lifetime. They're already millionaires. You know, they're set for life. They, they took care of the loose ends. They killed all the people that were against them. You know, they don't really have anything to worry about anymore. You know, they're set for life. You know, Franklin can do his thing, Trevor can do his thing, Michael can do his thing. You know, they ain't got any more problems to worry about. So I don't think they're going to be playable characters. I think they might participate in the story DLC to kind of like help out whoever we're going to be playing as. Because I think we're going to be playing as three new characters. One of which is going to be a female, most likely. Because as you know, we're living in an age where female characters are taking over video games. We got Tomb Raider, we got the voiced female protagonist for Fallout 4, we got a few other badass games with females in it, and it's awesome. Now, there's a lot of guys out there who are like, I don't want to play as a female. Why not, bro? Wouldn't you rather play in third person as a female so you got a chick's booty to look at instead of a guy's ass to look at for fucking hours on end? Come on. But anyways, yeah, I think there's going to be a female one. I also think there's going to be an Asian protagonist this time. And I think he's going to have, like, some sleeping dog style ninja moves. Because that's one of the things I was disappointed with in uh, the main GTA 5 storyline. Like, the fact that Trevor Franklin and Michael fight exactly the same. And I'm pretty positive they're going to be adding in some new 
melee combat. Some fucking ninja kicks, some roundhouse kicks, some fucking Bruce Lee punches and shit. I'm down for that. That's why I'm thinking it's going to be probably a Latina female. There's going to be an Asian dude. And then there's going to be like an Italian guy. And those are going to be three new protagonists. And I think they're going to be opening up the casino and some other buildings around San Andreas that aren't currently open. And you're going to be able to pull heist on those motherfuckers. And I think the casino is going to be the final heist of the story DLC. It's going to be the big one. It's going to be done just like Ocean's Eleven. You're going to have to go in, scope it out, you know, pretend to be a security guard or something. I don't fucking know how they're going to do it, but it's going to be badass. And then after we take over the casino and beat the story DLC, we're able to go back in the casino, play blackjack, slots, craps. You know, the same shit you can do in Fallout New Vegas. Now, that's just my, my first theory. My second theory is a little bit far-fetched for some people. But I'm really thinking they're bringing Vice City to GTA 5 story mode. I really do. Now, as you know, we got Ludendorff, which is not connected to San Andreas, but you can still go there. And a little bit of the story takes place in Ludendorff, right? So I'm thinking that Vice City is going to play a part in this next story DLC because it's not connected to San Andreas. But the three main protagonists that you're going to be playing as in the story DLC are probably going to fly there because they heard good things about Vice City. They heard that they're going to be able to, you know, extrapolate their bank accounts by going down to Vice City and pulling some heist for this big time kingpin or some shit like that. I don't know what's going to go down. But I still think, even if it's not going to be set in San Andreas and it does get set in Vice City, I think it's going to be the same three protagonists that I mentioned previously. A Latin female, an Asian dude, and an Italian dude. And the Italian dude would make sense for Vice City. He would have the connects in Vice City to let the Asian and the Latina chick know what the fuck's going on down there. You know, they're, they're probably like hanging out in San Andreas. They're living in the ghetto, you know, close to Franklin. They're tired of being broke. They're, they're tired of slinging dope. And they're like, we got we to gotta do something. And the Italian guy just hits up one of his fucking connects down in Vice City. They tell him to come down there. So, you know, that's how it happens. And as you know, Vice City is most likely going to be set around the same timeline as GTA 5. So it's not going to be the same 80s Vice City that we're used to from the PS2 days. But I'm still hoping that there's an... Vice City 80s radio station. That way we can jam out to those same songs that we love so much from the old school GTA Vice City. But yeah, that's uh, that's what I think's gonna happen. You know, those are those are my two theories. You know, the fact that there's gonna be three new protagonists. One's gonna be Asian with ninja skills. One's gonna be a Latina girl. One's gonna be Italian. And they're either going to be opening up the casino and some shit's going to go down in San Andreas still. Or the DLC is going to be set in Vice City. Because the Italian character has connects down there and they're able to get rich. I don't know. Both possibilities. Both are pretty cool options in my book. I don't care which one it is. I just want some new characters, I want some new gameplay mechanics, and I want some new story goodness for GTA 5. And I want that shit before November 10th, because as soon as Fallout 4 is released, bye-bye uh, GTA 5. I'm going to have to uh, put you on the back burner for a really long time, because I'm going to be so deep into Fallout 4 goodness, I ain't even going to be worried about any other game. Seriously. I mean, there are great games coming out after Fallout 4 that... I'm probably not going to get to for a month or two later, like Hitman and Just Cause 3 and a couple other badass ones, but, so GTA 5 really needs to get that story DLC out ASAP, and uh, there definitely better be an Asian dude with fucking ninja moves, I want to be able to roundhouse kick some pedestrians, that was some fun ass shit in Sleeping Dogs, and we need to be able to do that shit in GTA 5, because I was really disappointed in GTA 5. When Trevor, Franklin, and motherfucking Michael had the same damn fighting moves. Like, come on, dude. Could have made fucking Trevor have a more 
psychopathic fighting style and Michael have a more boxy fighting style and then Franklin a more just off the wall style. Like come on, what the fuck were you thinking, Rockstar? Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get off here. This fucking video's already gone on over ten minutes. I wasn't expecting that at all. But that's what happens when I'm fucking recording a video at six thirty in the morning and I haven't gotten any sleep. I'm just fucking rambling on and for all I know Nothing I said made sense because I'm fucking tired. My eyes are fucking burning. For all I know, I could fucking come back and watch this video tomorrow when I actually get some sleep and watch it and be like, what the fuck did I make this for? <laughs> but anyways, make sure you hit up Rockstar. Tell them we need some fucking story DLC. And if they don't give it to us, you're not going to buy any more shark cards and support the stupid GTA Online. Peace out. Bitches!